welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian and in this video I'll be sharing with you access control. Access control is one of the control families we have in the 20 controls family and like you all know access control is very important and I always tell my students, I always tell people access control is the same thing everywhere you go. So I want to look at what is access control, what does it mean, why do we select it, why do we implement it, and then we also want to look, I will go to look at the total number of access controls according to NIST publications, and then we'll also look at some examples of access control. All right, so let's get started. What is access control? In organizations, it says that access control must limit it says organizations must limit information system access to authorized users, processes acting on behalf of authorized users or devices, including other information systems, and to the types of transactions and functions that authorized users are permitted to exercise. What does this mean? It means that access control are used to restrict access to only authorized users or systems devices acting on behalf of authorized users access control is used to limit access to only authorized employees access control is used to limit access to only authorized transactions take for example whenever let's say you need to swipe your badge in front of your office at a device before you get entrance into the office that device is access control device is limiting access to only authorize persons into that office building. The password you have on your phone, the password you have on your devices, the password you have on your laptop is also an example of access control. It's limiting those that should be able to have access into your system. So that is what access control actually means. So when you look at it, it says it helps to limit um, access. It helps to limit um, it helps to restrict access to only authorized users. So look at this. It says the controls are allocated to low impact, moderate impact, and high impact security control baseline and privacy control baseline as appropriate. It means that access control is part of the control that must be selected if your control, if your system is categorized as low system moderate impact system or high impact system so access control is part of what you must select so that is what it's saying here now it says there are 131 controls under access control according to nist 853 revision 5 and 853b what does this mean it means that according to this nist publication the total number of access the total number of controls under access controls they are 131 and these 131 controls include both major controls or base control and control enhancement so what is control enhancement which i'll explain control enhancement are the controls that are meant to fortify to increase the strength of the base control so we shall see example of those controls you know as we move on in the next slide now these are examples of access control we have ac1 policy and procedure so access control one number one is for policy and procedure it means that every organization that implements access control must have a policy in place regarding how access control must be implemented and they must have procedure on how to go about implementing the access control and another thing is another example is ac2 access control number two account management what does this mean what is account accounts in it or in cyber security means individuals accounts or system accounts anonymous accounts emergency accounts service account these are credentials that are used to log in into the system these are credentials that are needed to be able to authenticate into the system so without this credential you cannot gain access into the system now 
these credentials needs to be properly managed these credentials needs to be properly you know uh, created so that is what this ac2 is talking about that which of these credentials do we need which of these accounts do we need so now let's look at the enhancement here is ac2 enhancement one what is ac2 enhancement one automated system account management it means organizations must have an automated software must have a software or tool that is used to manage accounts such as active directory group policy um, that is uh, an example of you know software or application that is used to manage users and systems accounts in any organization we have another example of access control, which is AC2 Enhancement 2. It says automated temporary and emergency account. It means that if any organization chooses to have a temporary account or emergency account, those accounts must be automated. There must be an automated way of managing them. So it shouldn't just be you create them, you don't have control over them. No. And then another example of um, access control is AC2 Enhancement 3, Disable Accounts. What does this control mean? It means that accounts that are more than a specified period of time without being used or idle must be disabled. That is what this control is talking about, meaning that organizations should not just leave account idle should not just leave account unused let's take for example they hire an individual or one of their employees is going on maternity leave or paternity leave that will take that will take them off work for like three months now three months without using that account could be dangerous someone else could take advantage of that account and log in on behalf of that users who is not you know at work so to safeguard and to reduce attack surface, those accounts should be disabled after 30 days without being used. That is AC2 Enhancement 3. AC3 is Access Enforcement. What is this talking about? It means that whichever the access that you have granted to your users, to your employees, those access must be enforced those access must be enforced meaning that if someone each individual account if you have created someone and that person only have access to a particular system that kind of access must be enforced the person is not permitted to access another system if the person is not permitted to see folders to share some folders he mustn't be able to do that so his access must be enforced that is what access enforcement ac3 is talking about so these are few of the controls we have under access control family and these access control families are meant to restrict access meant to restrict transactions to only authorize users and it is mandatory that every organization select and implement access control if this video has been helpful to you Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on your notification button so that you'll be getting more content from TITEC as they are being released. Thank you.